online do's and don'ts for the high value feminine woman. Hi, my name is Unique Sabanda and I am your digital dating coach as well as your style concierge here at the Black Swan Relationship Academy. Today I am talking about the do's and don'ts of online dating for the high value feminine woman that you beautiful swan are. But before we go into that, let's talk about some safety measures and consider before you go on this date with this amazing high value man that you've just met online. So first of all, please make sure you tell someone where you're going. Tell them what restaurant you're going to be in. Once it's confirmed, let them know what time you expect to get there and what time you expect to get back. Just want you to be safe. And also try and get a location that is very close to you that you're able to get to easily and back from. And talking about getting to the date, make sure you have your transport sorted out. Make sure you whether you have a private car that's dropping you and picking you up, or you can book an Uber or Bolt or whatever transport service you are going to use. And if you're using the underground, just make sure, or the subway, depending on what country you're in, just make sure that you know what times the trains are finishing so that you're able to get back home in, an, in a timely fashion is most gentlemen should i say a masculine man would not mind coming to you because they value the fact that you are safe they love to make their woman feel safe so let's get into the do's and don'ts of online dating let's start off with your photos do take amazing photos do ask a friend ask a family friend someone who likes you who can literally do crouching tiger moves to take your pictures for you if they're not doing that they're not your friend <laughs> just joking but if you really really need to take good pictures just make sure the person who's taking your pictures knows your angles and knows you really well smile smile show some teeth lighten and brighten your face and that is what smiles do smiles are actually very contagious when someone is looking at a smile they're kind of forced to smile as well you cannot look at someone else who's smiling and you frown psychologically it just makes you feel better and that is how you're going to come across on the apps when you smile you're going to make the person who's looking at you just look at you longer or maybe swipe right if you need to book a photographer not a professional corporate photographer but a photographer that deals with lifestyle pictures one that can see and read your vibe and read who you are and then be able to to translate that into pictures there's this german saying about how a picture paints a thousand words so may your pictures paint femininity beauty and gorgeousness so much so that a masculine man definitely wants to swipe on your picture no selfies no selfies because selfies just make you look like a bit of a loner who doesn't have friends who can take pictures of her so no selfies but there's a trick to that. You can still do selfies, but in a way that it looks like someone else took the picture. But for that, you're going to have to join either Black Swan Nation or book a consultation. I can show you how all these things can add up and you can literally style your photos and style them together so that you can put them online. Online profiles. Next thing. Let's talk about your online profile. Talk about yourself. I know it's not an easy thing to do, Talk about the things that you love doing. Talk about your passions. Don't tell your life story now, okay? No one wants to hear your biography. You can save that for when you write your book and become world famous and we come and have you speaking on Black Swan Nation. Let's do that then. <laughs> but for now, don't tell your life story on this platform. No pets, ladies. Next thing, no pets. I know, I know, I know. Yes, when you're walking in the park, it's cute and you can bump into a guy who loves dogs and you talk about dogs and you talk about pets. But when you're online dating, no pets. We just want to know about you. He just wants to know about you and that's who you're talking about. Put your picture of just you. No children as well. Just you. And honestly, no group pictures. First of all, it's really not fair on your friends because they may not want to be on dating sites. Um, 
even if you get their permission, it's just not advisable. You don't want to give a guy an excuse to date you so that he can get your friend, right? They'll meet your friends in time. Yes, you can show that you have a social life without adding your friends in your group pictures as well. Say what you want. If you want a man who is ready to cherish you, say that. If you are a fun-loving person and you're just looking for something short-term, say that. We're not here to waste anyone's time and you don't want someone to waste your time. So say what you want and mean what you say. Um, there are so many examples that we could use, but the best thing again, just join Black Swan Nation. And as this airs, um, we will be closing the, the challenges for the Swan City. 30 day challenge so you can just join that all the links will be in the description box so be sure to have a look in that as well so many profiles that you read and all you can hear is about women saying i don't want ons i don't want um, a man who's like this i don't want a man who's selfish i don't want i don't want i don't want all that reads is that you got issues you know all that it reads is that you've got issues so say what you want rather than what you don't want because the last thing, even when you read a gentleman's profile, the last thing you want to hear about is the things that he doesn't want. Because you're asking yourself, is he sure? He knows what he wants because he seems to be complaining about the stuff that he doesn't seem to want. So let's make sure that, ladies, we are always stating the things that we want. And ask questions. Ask questions. Have fun with asking questions. Don't be shy to ask questions. If you're not clear about something that they've written in their profile, just ask. The worst they could do is just not answer you, right? Just ask. Just ask. And don't assume. Don't assume that the car that he's taken pictures with, that he's leaning on, is his. Don't assume that that yacht is his. Don't assume that because he took pictures on a beach that he's got a beach front property. Don't assume. Ask questions ask questions ask questions but the last thing that you should be asking ladies is your salary don't ask how much a man earns because we're not gold diggers we just want someone who is ready to share an amazing relationship with us and build something with us and cherish us and make sure that we are safe that's what we want <laughs> signal 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 send winks send likes Swipe left, swipe right. Don't just be set there and waiting for a man to to, to do the swiping. Well, let's say in the Black Swan Relationship Academy, definitely signal a man. Let him know that you are interested, but don't be the one to make the first conversation. Don't make the first move. Just signal and let him know that you're interested and a masculine man will approach you. Do go on dates. To go on dates. That's the whole point of online dating. Don't be stuck on the app talking for days and days and getting emotionally caught up in a man that you have not seen. Because as a woman, you need to be in the man's space so that you can smell him, so that you can read his energy, so that you can read his pheromones. Do they go with yours? Does his energy align with yours? You need to be able to you need to be in a space where you can read the energy of a man. You can't really read that when someone is online. If possible, try by all means to meet up as soon as possible. Don't waste time chatting for days on end and weeks on end. And a masculine man would want to move things forward and meet you in person because they too understand that they need to see you in person and see how you are because you are then in your full 3D version rather than a 2D version that is online. Even if it is video dating, you still want to see the person in person, right? Now that lockdown is over, you can now arrange dates or dinner dates. Make sure that you do go on those dates because that is the whole point of online dating, to get it off the app as quick as possible. In, uh, in a post recently, I mentioned how online dating so annoying is because people stay on their way too long and once you've been online for too long you end up getting scared to actually meet people so ideally meet someone as soon as possible have the intention that you want to be in this relationship and you're ready to meet people in person because you can only put to practice what you've been learning on this black swan relationship academy 
in practice. You won't be able to put it in practice just on the online space. So definitely do go on dates. Don't get too emotionally involved before actually meeting the person, which is why we encourage you to go on dates. Don't fall in love with an idea of who someone says they are before you've actually met them in person. Brings me back to the point. Do go on dates as soon as possible. And also do pay for subscription because when you pay for the site, you are preferred as well um, by the algorithm because you are actually paying for the service. And I found that in, um, especially with Tinder, it's, there's a lot less guest swiping because you can see the people who are already liking you and they're right there in front of you for you to choose from and it just makes that journey so much more easier and also the algorithm kind of sees that you are you have an intention i always say the algorithm really is just based on the behavior of people and the more you you show up on the app the more the algorithm will favor you the more you sorry, the more you use as paying subscriptions the algorithm will favor you more it is coded for that reason and it also will show you to your preferences more likely than someone who has not paid for a subscription. Also, it cuts down the time in which you have to spend time sifting through different profiles. It can be quite daunting. And that's the one thing that people tend to, to end up being exhausted by. And lastly, do take breaks. Take a break, take a breather, take time off the app, have an intention to go on for three months, come off, take a break for a month and go on for another three months if you haven't met your suitors within that three months. So, and something else we'll talk about when it comes to um, online dating, have the intention to stay on for a given time. I always say, tell yourself this is the time I'm going to allocate for online dating so it doesn't exhaust you. As an introvert, I do a lot of allocating of time because I don't want my energy drained. And when you go online, the last thing you want is for it to feel like an energy drain. So allocate time when you're at your best, then you can go online and swipe left or swipe right. Then you can through, look through your suitors and be able to communicate and converse with, with amazing gentlemen because you have the time and you're present within that space. Another thing is do be present. Do be present when you're swiping. Don't just swipe because I'm bored and I've got nothing better to do. Swipe because you have the intention of finding that right relationship for you. So do definitely take time out if you need to. Take a breather. It'll still be there when you come back, right? <laughs> but on that note, again, before I forget, do like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know what your experiences have been in online dating. And if you really need to get your online profile evaluated, feel free to book a discovery call with me, your, your style concierge and online dating coach here at the Black Swan Relationship Academy. All my links are in the description box. Do book a discovery call so we can go through your profile, see what best way you can show up and the thing is, I also specialize in, in allowing you to, to, to show up and present in a very feminine way so that you can be read in that way and attract that high value masculine man. So that is it for me for this week and I'll meet you again next week. Don't forget that we are really in the height of the Swan City Challenge at the moment, the 30 day challenge. You've got one more day to join and join the challenge. Just come and join Swan City. Come and join and see the revolution of what we're doing with the whole nice girl attitude like it's not nice girl gone bad it's just literally we're doing nice girl rehab we are learning to set boundaries and this week we were learning to to, to sort and set boundaries and that is something that you're definitely going to need in your arsenal when you're online dating is learning how to sort what you want learning how to know your to, to learning your core needs learning your non-negotiables as well as learning those desires that you can then tailor make to fit them in your profile so that you're able to then attract the man who can fit and and be able to provide those needs that you need in your life to function in a fully profound amazing relationship but in the meantime do take care of you and be safe out there my name is unique Savanda again and i am your online digital dating coach and your star concierge here at the black swan relationship academy
See you next week. Bye.